Hi friends, welcome to Learn Loadener series. In this episode, we are going to see how to design a manual scenario in controller. If you have not seen my previous videos about controller uh, IDE and uh, how controller works, please watch so that you will understand the fundamentals of how controller works behind the scenes. So in this video, as I said, we are going to design a manual scenario and we are going to execute a simple uh, scenario, a simple load test. Then we are going to see uh, how you will be uh, seeing the results in runtime. So controller offers two types of scenarios. One is the manual scenario and goal oriented scenario. So this manual scenario will help your uh, load test by specifying the number of virtual users to run. So again, in manual scenario, there are uh, two modes available. One is the percentage mode and another one is viewer group mode. So by default, you will be using the percentage mode to distribute your virtual users. So in this video, we are going to see both, both the types, both the uh, modes, uh, group mode and percentage mode. So first we will see viewer group mode. So in the group mode, if you want to use the group mode, you have to uncheck this option. So please uncheck, uh, use the percentage mode to distribute the users among the scripts. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to add two scripts in my scenario. So one is easy travel, Dynatrace, SaaS demo and example.com. So just add both the scripts so that uh, you will see these two in your grid. So just click on OK. So in the design tab, you can see at the top in the grid, you can see there are two rows. One is for the example.com and another one is for easy travel demo. So the first column represents the checkbox. So if you uncheck this, this particular group or script will be ignored during the execution. So if you want to exclude, you can uncheck. So in this case, I'm going to include both the scripts so that we can uh, understand how the uh, manual scenario works. The second column is displays the group name and uh, the third column display the script path and fourth column virtual equation and next one is NV insights and quantity and the load generators. So by default, as I mentioned, it will be in the percentage mode. So you have to uncheck it. So if you uncheck it, you can see these options in the scenario schedule. So scenario schedule will display the uh, schedule by scenario and the run mode is a real world schedule. So this section we'll be seeing in detail in the upcoming videos. First, we will focus on how to design the manual scenarios. So by default in the global schedule, you can see it will execute two virtual users. So two virtual means it will automatically distribute one each. So one is two. Uh, example and another one is to for easy travel demo. So now I want to change the numbers. So I want to run uh, five for uh, example and five for the easy travel script. So what you can do is you can select this uh, row and you can uh, click on the uh, virtual users button. Okay, so here you can see uh, right now, it's only one virtual user has been added. So if you want to add, you can just click on the add virtual users and enter the quantity to four more and click on OK. So now you can see the quantity has been increased to five. Similarly, you can uh, change the numbers. Just click on the details of users button and click on add users and uh, enter the desired number and click on OK. So if you uh, added the virtual users, interactive schedule graph will reflect the numbers. So right now it will execute 10 virtual users, five each. Okay, now we are going to see how to design the manual scenario by percentage mode. So what I can do is I'm going to close this, I'm not going to save it and I'm going to click on file new and I'm going to check this box and I'm going to add these two scripts. Click on OK. 
so by default now the uh, the percentage will be split among uh, the two scripts by 50 50 and uh, it will execute with only one virtual users by default so you can change the numbers if you want to change the numbers just right click on this uh, sorry just double click on uh, the start view users and enter uh, say 10 and hit apply so as you mentioned the percentage 50 50 so each uh, view users will be distributed one by one which means uh, five each so in this case if you want to change the percentage exa for example for the uh, first group I'm going to distribute 10 percentage. So automatically it will reflect the remaining percentage to the another script. So now the out of 10, uh, 10 virtual users means one will be for example.com and the nine virtual users will be for easy travel demo. So you have to change the numbers, the percentage in the grid and you have to change the virtual users in the global schedule. So here I can go for 90 and hit OK. So now you can see the interactive schedule graph is reflecting 90 virtual users. So 10% of the users will go for example.com and 90% of the users will go to easy travel uh, directors demo script. So now this is a cumbersome because I need to every time I have to go to file new to change the uh, modes. So I want to convert from percentage to manual. So I have to recreate the script. But there is no need to recreate. Controller will offer the conversion pretty easily. So if you want to convert from manual uh, uh, user group, mo group mode to uh, percentage mode, go to scenario and select convert scenario to the user group mode. So just hit this and it will give display the warning message. So just hit yes. So now it automatically convert your uh, scenario mode to group. Again, if you want to convert into percentage, go to scenario and convert scenario to the percentage mode and hit S. Again, it will go back to percentage mode. So likewise, you can keep converting your scenario without recreating the mode. So I hope this video is pretty useful. So in the next uh, video, we are going to see about how to uh, design a goal oriented scenario. So thanks for listening. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.